Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to ping an address using Java. So let's get right into it. So firstly, make sure you import java.net.inet address, as we'll be needing this library for this code. Then, in our main method, we're going to do string address equals www.google.com. I trust this address will be up for many years in the future. After that, we will then do system.out.println can reach address address and then a thousand. I'll explain what this means in a second, but address is basically what we want to try and reach and ping, and this number is going to be the maximum amount of time in milliseconds. So let's get into defining our function. So it's a public static boolean, so it's going to return a true or false, whether or not we can reach it or not. Can reach addresses for name, String IP is the first parameter, this is the address we want to ping, and int max time is basically our timeout time. How long are we going to try reaching an address before we give up is basically what this is. And by default, the time is in milliseconds. So there's a thousand milliseconds in a second, so I've got 1000 here to represent one second. You can put this to whatever you want, however, bear in mind if you put on something like one, there's a good chance you're not reaching the address in one millisecond. So the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to do a try catch statement. So you do try, you do curly bracket, curly bracket, catch, exception E, another curly bracket. Then we're going to do system.out.println E to print out the error message so we know what's going on. Do another curly bracket and then after do a return false because if we're executing the catch code, this is going to be something we can't reach, so put a return false after everything. Inside we're going to do two lines of code. We're going to do inet address address equals inet address dot get by name and then we pass in IP. And so what's going on here is we're creating an inet address object. This is Java's encapsulation of an IP address and we can assign it a value by doing get by name and we're passing in our string IP. And then after we're going to do return address dot is reachable max time. So we're basically going to see if we can reach that IP address in a specified amount of time. So if we can reach it within the max time specified, it becomes this statement returns a true. Otherwise, it returns a false. And we can put that with a return statement to literally just return for Boolean this outputs. And that's basically it for this tutorial, so make sure you save your work and then press play. So we're going to be trying to ping Google in a thousand milliseconds. And it says true. However, what if we were to do one millisecond? Well, it says false because I don't have the internet to reach Google in that amount of time. I very much doubt most of you have the internet to reach Google in that time. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, 1ms is pretty quick. But if we were to put something like 20, it says true. And 20 is good. 20, if you're playing some online multiplayer games like a shooter, 20 milliseconds is considered very good. So, yeah. Now, let's say we put, I don't know, we put a extra W. I don't know, I want to do something that doesn't exist. Well, it says false, because, and it also actually says, no such host is known. We're now going to try YouTube. And it says true. Now we're going to try eBay. And it also says true. Now if I had a sponsor... I could then put their website in here and try to ping to it, but I don't have a sponsor, so I don't have the opportunity to do that really smooth segue. So that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Java tutorials, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for being a great audience.